Hi, Pisces. Welcome. Messages for November 18th through the 25th, 2023. I'll never DM you. I'll never solicit you. And I will never, ever reach out. You guys reach out to me. If you'd like to book a reading with me, you can do right through my Etsy. These are messages for the week. What do you need to know? What do you need to hear? Perhaps about your inner peace. Follow me on Instagram, YouTube, Facebook. I'm everywhere. Let's get into this reading for you. Don't forget to check back next week so you can get more free messages. So we've got the mirror. Escaping my own image. So I feel like you might be dealing with some body image stuff. Or you might be feeling, you know, like... Your appearance is not the way you want it to be or not the way you want it to look. You might be fussing over your hair or a few wrinkles on your face or, you know, some gray hairs or, you know, trying to point out your flaws. I feel like you may be kind of like contemplating your own image or maybe wanting to change it or do something different. Um, or maybe you're meant to spend a little more time taking care of you, taking care of yourself. You're not just a face or a body though. You're a soul, you're a spirit. You are a whole breathing person. So I feel like you might feel like you're not good enough or you're not good looking enough or you're not pretty enough or handsome enough or, or there's some flaw that you know you can't stand to look at but I feel like it's almost like a form of like putting yourself down, okay? Um, we're all beautiful. Everybody's beautiful. All shapes, all sizes, all walks of life. Everybody in their own way is gorgeous. And I feel like you have not embraced this in quite a while or felt this. So I feel like this is like a makeover. Doing something for you. Maybe changing your hair. Buying some new makeup. Treating yourself to a manicure, treating yourself to a facial, treating yourself to getting your eyebrows done or a, a pedicure, treating yourself in some way, okay? Buying maybe something new for yourself to wear that makes you feel really, really good about yourself. But um, I feel like the real beauty is within, like in all of us. So that's more important and that's what matters the most and that's what matters the most to the people in our lives, okay? People could love us for our outside but fall in love with what's inside because let's face it, looks will phase, phase out. A nice body, a nice frame, a nice looking face, that's temporary. We all age, we all feel this way sometimes, you know? So I feel like this is you getting more in touch with your beauty and your inner beauty and making yourself feel beautiful and doing the things that you need to do to really walk in that energy, okay? All right, let's see what else. This, I want to add a few things. This also could be like change in diet, new exercise regimen, like just doing something different. Okay, so turn your worry into wonder. Surrender to the experience. Okay, so... If you've been worrying about something, there might be a lot of insecurities plaguing your mind, a lot of doubts plaguing your mind. Um, instead of worrying, you're meant to turn your attention kind of like to wonder and focus on everything that's good and everything good that's coming that you know, okay? So if you are focused on like the holidays, yes, focus on that energy because it's positive, it's uplifting, it feels good, it's it's like letting you make plans, it's, you know, letting you use your creative energy. So you're meant to focus on what could be, not what you think is the worst, okay? Because I feel like remind yourself that you are not off track. There is no need to you know, like get to it with anything. This is all like divine timing. This is all like things are going to unfold the way they need to unfold. Um, stop imagining the worst because the more you imagine the worst, the more energy it puts towards that. And we want to keep our focus positive. We want to keep our focus on the light, at the light at the end of the tunnel. We want to focus on 
you know, living in the moment a little bit more, okay? Instead of being so far ahead in the future, try to live more in the moment, in the present moment. And sometimes we do have to take it, you know, hour by hour or day by day. Check back next week, Pisces. Love and light.